Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an interactive digital bookshelf using Google Slides and one of my favorite websites, pixabay.com. Let's go ahead and get started here. Here I am in Google Slides. You can see I've set up a simple slide that says digital bookshelf in Google Slides. And I went to pixabay.com and I found this free picture. You can see free for commercial use, no attribution required this free image of a bookshelf. And I just downloaded it. I'll download it again one more time here. And now I'm going to use that as the background in my slide. So I'll choose the image and drag that in to be my background. So I've added that in. And now I want to add in pictures of the covers of some of my books that I recommend. I've been asked a lot this summer for book recommendations. So I have a whole stack of them here that I took pictures of and I'm going to add to my bookshelf. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one I'm going to add. The first one I want to add here is a cover image of the book Invent to Learn by Sylvia Martinez and Gary Steger. So I'm going to drag that up here. I'm going to click and drag to resize it and put it on the bookshelf. Okay. So let's reposition it and get it to the right size and move it around. Now, I want people to be able to find this easily when they see this slide. So I'm going to link to it. And here's the link to it from Amazon, but you can of course find it many other places. And I'll include that link right in there and I'll add that in. Now let's add another book in here. Here's another good book that I recommend, Harnessing Technology for Deeper Learning. Scott McLeod and Julie Graber, they published this back in the fall of 2019, or summer of 2019. And so we'll add that one in as well. And you can see there, I have it, uh, well, where do I have it? I have it right there. So let's link to that. By the way, I have an extensive review of both of these books available at freetechforteachers.com. Uh, also on my YouTube channel, I have an interview with Scott McLeod, the author of Harnessing Technology for Deeper Learning. So you can click through there. Now I'm going to add a couple more on here that I like to recommend. I recommend The Joy of Search by Dan Russell. And Dan is Google's head of, he's their senior research scientist for search quality and user happiness at Google, an amazing title and also an amazing book for anyone who's interested in learning more about search. So let's put that one on my shelf as well. And again, I'll link to that one. And let's find that. Where did I put it here? There it is. And so let's put that link right in there. Now, I can add many other books, and there's other books that I've read this summer that I've enjoyed, including Draft Animals by Phil Gaiman, The Ultimate Book of Dad Jokes, Esports EDU, Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport, fantastic read, and probably my favorite book of the summer, Boys in the Boat. So, once you have added in all the books that you want to add in and you've linked to them. Now it's time to share your slide. So we're gonna to go to the file menu and we're gonna select publish to the web. Go to file, publish to the web, and let's publish that. Now we have a link and anyone who has that link will see that slide and of course, you can embed that slide into a web page like on Google Sites or in Blogger or Weebly or whatever platform you use. And we have our books there. And now you can click through and you'll go right to the page to get a copy of Invent to Learn. Or you can click through and go right to get a copy of Harnessing Technology for Deeper Learning or The Joy of Search. Now, again, you can embed those directly into your blogger, WordPress, EduBlogs, or Google site, or Weebly, 
Squarespace, whatever you use by using the embed code, just like you would use if you were embedding a YouTube video. So that's how you can create a digital interactive bookshelf using Google Slides, Pixabay, and Amazon or other websites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.